Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am back in Creative Sim and this sim is largely inspired by the fact that I have recently been re-watching The Lord of the Rings. Uh, I watched them for the first time a couple of years ago and I really love them. Uh, so me and my family we decided to watch uh, the, the whole trilogy again. We've only got through um, Fellowship and Two Towers. We're still yet to watch Return of the King, so we're going to be doing that sometime this week. But as I was watching that movie, it kind of got me like thinking about the fact that I really want to be making some more kind of like mythical fantasy creatures in The Sims 4. Because I actually have a lot of supernatural CC in my game because I just, for some reason, I like downloading it. I think it looks really cool. Um, but I never end up really making that many supernatural sims even though I find them so interesting to make and I think they're just really fun to do. I just don't seem to ever end up making a lot of them for some reason so that's why today I decided to make an elf sim for you guys who was inspired by the elves in Lord of the Rings particularly Galadriel who kind of like always like sticks out to me as like she's just like one of like the most powerful elves in the whole like series um, she is a, she's like a royal elf as well, she, she rules a place somewhere, I can't remember the name of it, but I know that she, she is like, she's a queen of somewhere, uh, along with her husband. So yeah, she was definitely a big influence on the sim, especially with her appearance, obviously Galadriel, if you've seen Lord of the Rings, I don't know, maybe you haven't seen it, but Galadriel has really long blonde it's like it's more white hair because elves tend to have very fair hair they're supposed to be like very beautiful very ethereal looking um the elves in lord of the rings they they seem to have this like light shimmering around them because they're just supposed to be these like ethereal angel-like creatures with pointed ears who stand up like way over six feet tall um and are very pretty so they, they, they're kind of like um the models of middle earth that's the only way i can describe them um and yeah, uh, Kate Blanchett plays Galadriel and she's very beautiful. So um, I had to make this sim as pretty as I could. And I do think she turned out very, very cute. I wasn't sure whether to make her a princess or a queen. I did want to go with a queen at first, but she kind of gave me more like princess vibes. Maybe one day she would be a queen. However, I don't really know how that works in Elfland um, because if, if they're all immortal, and they can't die like how would you become a queen um i'm not sure how it works but i do know that the elves can die in battle um that yeah they can be slain in battle so they can die that way and they could also like die of like weariness um and maybe like a broken heart so what i was imagining was that her mother and father who are king and queen of i think she's like some like she's uh she's like from Erendor. I think that's what I called it. Like she's from this place called Erendor, which I'm pretty sure like I meant to make that up, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a place in maybe Lord of the Rings or something else. It sounds like it could be a place. Um and I, I feel like she is yeah, a princess there and her parents are gonna die one day even though they're supposed to be immortal um and i imagine that maybe her father gets slain in a battle and then her mum the queen uh dies of grief and then that's how she one day becomes queen so she's kind of like both a princess and then a queen um yeah that's what I, what I was kind of thinking as i was making her thinking of her backstory because i do like to do that when i'm making sims and yeah, I gave her the Renaissance Sim aspiration because where she's immortal and she's going to be spending a lot of time on Earth, I imagine that she's going to want to learn a lot of different things, a lot of different skills. Um, so yeah, I gave her that aspiration for those things. I also imagined that she's really into sports and things like archery because the elves in Lord of the Rings, I know Legolas, he's very good with like a bow and arrow. I think that's just like an elf thing. They're very good at archery and that type of sport. So yeah, I imagine that she's also into that. And yeah, I also noticed that a lot of the elves in Lord of the Rings also have, like tend to have like plaits and braids in their hair. Um, and I was actually really lucky to find this hair just kind of, I was literally just scrolling, scrolling through like the internet um, for hairs and I found this and I thought it'd be perfect. So yeah, I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I think it looks really nice in her. Also obsessed with this dress that I gave her. I think it was, I think it's just perfect for this kind of elf princess look. 
I would definitely recommend you guys checking out that creator. They are called Syfix and they make really beautiful dresses. If you're like into just downloading dresses and downloading CC, definitely check them out. They make the most amazing stuff. Um, would definitely recommend. Uh, but yeah, anyway, all of this CC as well from this video will be linked in the description. It's all there in a Google Doc, but let me know if you have any problems with any of the links or whatever so I can try and sort them out and just help you find whatever you want to find. Um, and yeah, please as well let me know what other videos you'd like to see me do on this channel. As I said, I really want to be making some more Supernatural Sims, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.